Hi, and welcome back to My Own Utopia. I'm Kaylina. Now, I hope everyone had a wonderful Mother's Day. I love hearing about all the stories and everything that everyone has been uh, up to or what their children, partners, husbands, or anyone else has done for you. I love hearing those stories. So, I have a story of my own. It's not that exciting, but for me, it actually made me very happy. It was a really good Mother's Day. And so my boys basically saw how far they can push mommy. But that's on a typical note. <laughs> Isn't this so cute? I treated myself to this. It has little balls of yarn and flowers. Hobby Lobby's got this out. It's new and I think it was like $5 with tax and everything else like that. So the same price as it was for the old tumblers that they put on clearance. If you're wanting to look at that, um, I treated myself before Mother's Day. I was just like, I have been taking tumblers with me. I love the way that the fact that my boys can start drinking. My oldest, he has some muscle weakness, severe muscle weakness. From head to toe so he can start drinking out of these um i think some of the straws uh that i'm about to get that is aluminum or something stainless steel and then soft at the very top makes it where i can restrict the uh flow so he can start drinking from my cups even more so i know that was a little bit of a side change right anyways back on track <laughs> Uh, heads up. This is probably going to be a long video. I am so sorry, you guys. <laughs> um, so before we get into everything, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell and all if you want to be notified of any new videos that I have out or any new content. If you would like to follow me on social media, I am also on Facebook and Instagram. Everything will be linked down below and anything I have to show you guys, it will be all linked down below as well. I will try. If I forget anything, I do apologize. Just remind me and I'll go back in, re-edit, and I will put it in so much so again i hope everyone had a wonderful mother's day and happy wednesday everyone seems like wednesday is starting to turn out to be my awesome wednesday now i have some works in progress that some people has asked me or no actually no scratch that i have some works in progress from ind individuals on my facebook group that would like to have their uh, uh, works in progress shown. I asked, I literally went onto my group and I asked, would anyone like to have their works in progress showed? So we have a few of those. So before I get into any of mine as well, I accidentally forgot to look up names, but I will have names of everyone. And if they're from the United States, if they're not from the United States, I will pop where they are from. I think I only have two individuals. One is from the Netherlands. I could be incorrect on this one. And the other one is from the United States. So I will pop up the first one. Scooch over and have that up. She did a fabulous job on this knitted blanket. She looks like, uh, from what I remember, she has um, just began the very first. They're both baby blankets that she's working on. One is a knitted blanket, one is a crochet blanket. The knitted blanket is the one I'm showing here. It is so stinking cute. Now I will have the pattern down below and I will also pop up here what the pattern is or her blanket is going to look like when she's all done. I have seen this pattern everywhere. I am so excited to be able to find somebody that is actually working through the pattern and I can see the progress from the beginning, middle, and end. She's doing such a good job. Um, now here's the other one. This is another baby's blanket and it is crocheted. And from what I remember, I think it is a granny square or, uh, the granny stitch going all the way across. So very simple, very easy. Another, um, beautiful style blanket. And I love the color way that she's picking as well. So she did such a beautiful job. I cannot wait until I can see what she's doing next or, the progress of what's next. Now, next individual. 
she is doing the sock the vanilla sock the exact same sock that i am doing from oh my goodness i just blinked <laughs> hold on a second um crazy sock lady that's it so she's doing the exact same tutorial that i am doing except for she's doing it in the magic loop and she's doing such a fantastic job and because she is doing such a good job and I love watching her progress I couldn't help myself I could not help myself I had to run out to uh, Hobby Lobby and go pick it up I could not I just I, I couldn't do it she is doing such a good job she oh yes I love it I just fell in love and I had to get some for my own so heads up on that one uh, <laughs> I so she's doing a fantastic job. She's on the hill right now and she is doing a really good job even though this is her first time and she's struggling but uh, we're just trying to cheer her on and she's doing such a good good job and I'm so proud of her for um, sticking with it and not giving up and keep on learning and moving with it and everything else like that. So good job to her. Um, she just finished doing a beautiful sweater or a little shirt for her daughter. I will have that up here as well. I love the colorway that she did. Um, so she just finished that off. It is so pretty. I will try everything I can to get the pattern for that one as well and put that down below or I will have it linked or put the name up underneath it as well. So she's doing a very good job. And then, um, I think that's it. Yes. So, fair warning. I am uh, the crazy sock lady. So, heads up on this is the crazy sock lady is doing the, what is it, the camp, sock camp 2021. And that starts next month. So, it's only one, two, yeah, two two weeks and a few days away before the um, sock camp actually starts up and gears up. Now I will have her linked up above and down below if you are interested and you're wanting to do this. The whole purpose of the uh, sock camp is so everyone can just go have fun. It's another way to relieve stress, learn how to do different techniques for the sock of knitting and everything else like that. And I fell in love with her tutorials and I fell in love with just the whole aspect and the idea of everything. I will have, like I said, everything linked up above and linked down below. So go check her out. It will start on June. I do not know exactly what day. It might be just the beginning of June. Don't know. I will have that down below as well. And just go check her out. She is awesome. So. Talking about that regards. My sock project has been coming in very well. I have been thinking of... I want a sock that is specifically cast on for this project, for the summer of the summer sock summer and everything else like that. So I actually do want to have a special yarn dedicated, at least just one, because I know how long it's taken me just to do one sock, is I want to have a specific and a special sock dedicated to this. Um, I feel like I just repeated it might have might not I'm sorry but like I said this is gonna be a little bit long I have a lot of information I probably should start breaking this up I'm sorry um anyways so I have two more skeins of yarn I have not dyed they're bare socks uh bare yarn sock yarn and I have three of them dyed here I will show you guys that's uh, one of my gifts from my boys. I mean, it's to them. I explain. Um, I have two more and I want to actually dye them a very special way in a way that I'm going to love. And I want to use that specific yarn to cast on and to be used for this, um, summer sock. So be prepared. I am going to be probably doing a individual uh, video of me 
doing the yarn, everything else like that. I am not a expert in any means about dyeing yarn. These yarns right here is honestly the first time I've ever dyed yarn. And then the yarn that I'm about to dye is going to be only my second attempt. I've only done a whole lot of research and wrote down notes for my own. But it is different of doing a lot of research compared to actually getting into the field and doing it yourself and experiencing everything on your own. There is a huge difference. It does give you a big leap and a big lean way to do the research before you actually physically do it, but I am no expert. So if I mess up, please be nice <laughs> and put any information that you can down below to help me learn. That is the whole process of all of YouTube is to learn and share our experiences in our growth and our love. So good vibes only. <laughs> I really need a sign just good vibes only. Um, so be kind, be sweet. So that's one thing I will be doing. All right. So let's see what in the world should I show you guys? How about Mother's Day? <gasps> Mother's Day. Let's show that. I'm excited. I'm sorry. I'm just like extremely excited about this. So what I did was I took my boys, I was going to spend the day just out, running around, and because I love plants. I absolutely adore plants, and before I really got into yarn and everything, I hyper-focused on plants, and my boys love plants. I'm so into plants. I haven't just lost my ability. It's just my focus is not fully driven in plants anymore it does have a stronghold in that but mainly yarn right now so I was gonna go up to Lowe's go see if there's any rarity plants that I can find any plants that I do not own at the particular moment or a double one I want to get or one that I want to give to a my mom or someone else like that so Unfortunately, my poor, poor husband was not feeling too good. He was in a whole lot of pain, praying. He was in a whole lot of pain. So I told him, I was like, look, I'll stay home. No worries. I'm not going to be upset. None at all. Just the only thing I'm asking is I want to dye some yarn. That's it. I just, I really want to do that. I really want to dye it with my boys and everything. So that's what our great, our agreeing was <laughs> he tried arguing with me i was like no 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 i'm good this will make me happy so i got what is it knit picks yeah knit picks we crochet stroll fingering weight bare yarn 462 yards 100 grams size one 75% fine superwash merino wool and 25% nylon. Uh, sorry, I've been doing a lot of reading. And reading makes me sleepy. Made in Peru. Wow. So I ordered, what was it, three, four, five. I got five skeins of bare yarn. And I ordered this give or take about a good couple of months ago and I've been just yeah a good couple of months ago because I stocked up on um Easter dyeing yarn when everything went on clearance I was just like yep that's what I want so this one is my middle so let's start from my oldest to my youngest my oldest is seven years old and he will be turning eight years old this year oh my goodness it has been so many so long so long so this is my oldest yes i know my me hanking up yarn is not that pretty <laughs> i'm gonna roll it up into a ball and go ahead and get it prepped and ready to go um might as well okay I will pop up a photo right here of what his yarn looked like when he put all of his in there. All of his little tablets. So. Isn't this pretty?
Oh, am I so proud of my boy. And I love the way that the blue and all the colors just completely changed. Yes. Um, oh, ho, ho, ho. love it. Now, what he was attempting to do was do a uh, rainbow. But unfortunately, we got confused between the pink and the red. So we have pink on the top instead of the red. And here, red is his favorite color. Oh, my goodness. No, please don't wake up. <laughs> um, oh, that looks much better. So this is his. He plans on... He wants me to make him a hat and mittens set. So I came across a couple of those patterns. I will try to remember to show that to you guys at the end of showing y'all this. If my youngest will stay asleep. <laughs> now this is my middle. My little gig gear. He wanted all the colors for... There we go. From the rainbow. But he did not want. He did not want them in order. He wanted them to be chaotic. And that is my boy. He is chaos. So this reminds me so much of him. He is chaos. But yet beautiful chaos. <laughs> oh yeah. I look at him as a balance. You have to have one without the other. If you don't have one, you don't have the other. <laughs> That's him. Sometimes there's more than one. Oh, but he's, oh yes. So this is my gear gears. He's wanting the exact same thing. He's wanting the hats and he's wanting little mittens as well. So I found the perfect mitten pattern that he's wanting. So I'm using it for all my boys. And he is four years old. He's going to be turning five this year. Oh my goodness. Yeah, time just too much time. Now, this is my youngest, Keegan. He is just turned two. I mean, literally just turned two. So he did a fabulous job. I just showed him the colors, laid them all out, let him pick the colors he wanted. And then... He's starting to understand the concept that things are hot. So <laughs> he kept his heart, his hands up very high and he chose where he wanted the colors to be. And he loved it. He was very happy with the way it came out. So that makes mommy very, very happy. Very happy. Oh, so that was my three boys. I am so proud. I love it. I cannot wait to knit it up for my boys. Um, so let's see. What I have decided to do is I'm going to use the Ross's hat. The Ross's hat is supposed to be 22 inches in circumference. Here, my oldest is 21 inches and a half inches in circumference. Yes, I know that is a large head. My oldest son has some neurological disorders, brain disorders, so it makes his head bigger than it's supposed to be. So... This is a really good, I might take it off by like five stitches just to bring it down a smidge to make it a little bit more snug and be able to fit him for a little bit longer. Um, and I might readjust to my other boys as well because my middle is 20 inches, so one inch and a half difference. And here my youngest is 19 inches around. My boys have got some big heads. <laughs> I just realized that they got some really big heads. So I'm going to be doing the Ross's hat and I'm going to be tailoring it to their heads exactly the same way as I did to my husband. When I did his, I just upped it because his is 23 inches around and it, it fit perfectly. It wasn't, it was not exactly snug, but it was also not big where it was like big and floppy and floppy. So it fit perfectly. So that's the pattern I'm going to be using for their hats. And then for their mittens. I am going to be using 
the world's simplest mittens. So I measured around their little hands to see if everything fits and surprisingly all of them fits so they should fit beautifully. I will, it's by 10 Can Knits. It's a free pattern. I will have it linked down below. Um, they do fingering weight, DK weight, worsted weight, and they do chunky. So that was one thing that made me extremely happy with this. And it seems like it's very simple, simple little pattern. And that's all I want. So yeah. Here's another one. It's just so simple and so pretty. So, from what I've seen and I've calculated, I should have enough of each one with 100 grams and the yardage and everything. That should be enough to be able to do the hat and the mittens. I hope. I might do the mittens first and then do the hat last. To just be safe. So, back to the yarn that I want to dye for myself. I came across this specific yarn, or this specific um, egg dyeing kit. And I thought nothing of it until I literally opened it up and I started looking at the actual tablets. And I'm like, why is it the tablets are so huge? Why are they so big? And I started looking at them and I'm like, What's so different about this one compared to all the other ones that I've opened up and fit, try to figure out what they are because I actually did a test to see what color they truly was so I can separate them and everything and if you look at the actual egg that is the reasoning I fell in love. I fell in love with the pink and the blue and the way it was and everything. I was like, that one's it. That's the one. So I had two of these sets. I'm going to be pulling out the blue and I'm going to be taking both of the blues and I am going to be chopping them up and everything. So instead of just one concentrated um, marble from one section, I am going to chop them up and I'm going to sprinkle them from head to toe. So it's fully evenly 100% coated from top uh, to top to bottom. Here I'm going backwards. So that's what I plan on doing is I want to do that. And if this doesn't really quite show up, I might grab a red tablet and crush it up and start throwing it on top as well. So I have a little bit more of it mixed in. I don't know but I will bring y'all along with the ride and see how it does. So that was that. Now, like I said, I think her name is Heather. Forgive me. I am really bad with names. She is doing her sock in the colorway Yarn B Toe Cozies. And shine like summertime 06 lot 626507. This is what she's doing it in. How stinking beautiful! Oh, I love it! So, could not help myself. This is where it's supposed to come up. So I sent my husband, I was like, no, yarn's on sale. I finally had it. I've been wanting it. I want it. <laughs> I saved up enough. I want it. So it's yarn B. It is a 1.75 ounces, 50 grams, 210 yards, 
195 meters, 93% acrylic, 77% polyester, 7. Um, it is a number two fine. They say use a 2.75 millimeter knit and needle or a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And it's made in Turkey. So I do not know who is getting these socks. I might make them for myself because I love them so much because I know for a fact I'm going to be probably letting my um youngest pick from this or he can choose something else but if he really really wants this that's fine i'll make it for him so i basically got a hundred grams worth of yarn for suckies so i got those and that was my youngest my middle wanted this kind he wants the bright neons this is what it's supposed to look like and it's called neon dreams zero nine so i love this even i would be happy with this oh i love it and then here my oldest saw this one Okay. Ferrant's Flame. Something Flame. <laughs> Should have asked Google. Oh well. It's F I E R C E Flame. Probably y'all are screaming it out to me right now. And if I hear it, I'm like, yep, that's it. <laughs> um, so he wanted this one. I was like, okay, so I, this is what it's supposed to turn out to be. I'll knit this up for him. And I think, I don't know. I might try to do a toe up with this because I want to try to make this as long as possible. He has um, these Oh, I just forgot the name of them. Braces. He has these braces that go onto his um, ankles that help correct him. So I think this will be a very nice, soft thing to um, buffer between the braces. So I might try my first time ever doing a toe up and see if I can do it. And that way I can literally just go all the way up as high as I can with it for him. And there goes my clock. I love my clock. So that's all I asked my husband for. It's like, that's it. That's all I want. Um, so he actually brought home my very first. Let's see if I can show it to you guys. <gasps> yes. I have been wanting one. I've been thinking about it and everything. And I was going to probably ask him for one for Christmas. But here he just he shows up and he's just like here i'm like okay <laughs> so i got rose gold um hold on okay so i've decided that i'm going to cut this into two videos um so this is going to be the mother's day video for all of this and everything so like i'm sorry i had to go put my youngest back to sleep anyways um, so I'm extremely excited. I thought that I was going to probably just get this sucker, um, around Christmas time or purchase it myself, but he surprised me. He said that he was actually thinking about it for a very long time. And when he went into Michael's to see what he can basically go get for me and everything else like that for Mother's Day, he came across this and he was like, you know what? Here. And the greatest part of it the greatest part was that I love the fact that my boys was able to, all three of them, sit down and help me place or put it all together without a problem. Um, we have finally, that is a goal 
that I have really been mean, um, meaning and working our tissue wishies off on is no fighting, no arguing. Um, for new people or individuals that do not know, um, all three of my boys are artistic and so am I. Um, so my oldest one, he, he barely communicates verbally. So he communicates, he gets really upset and aggravated and he hits or he screams or he gets upset and frustrated and everything else like that. My middle has difficulty communicating verbally as well. So whenever he gets upset, sometimes he shuts down. And then here, my youngest is in speech because of his speech as well. So we're still in of course, he's he's two. He just turned two years old. So I'm still assuming him as being one years old. So even just a normal one-year-old does not have the vocabulary and the comprehension to be able to ex verbally express themselves properly. I am 35 years old and I still have problems communicating and verbally expressing my feelings and what I am wanting, let alone a normal individual as well. So someone that's not nervous. So <laughs> we've been working extremely hard trying to get the boys to work and work together without arguing, work together without fussing or fighting, and to be able to verbally express what they want without expressing their frustration and anger, to take a deep breath and calm down and to <laughs> so it was a wonderful another day that they actually was able to express that they wanted to help put it together. We were able to put it together without arguing, without fighting, without screaming, without throwing things, without anyone, just no negative. It was, it was bliss. I'm just I'm like that itself. <laughs> That itself is a fantastic and a wonderful Mother's Day and a Mother's Day gift and a, sorry, and that is a awesome early, very early, because my birthday is in September, but very early birthday gift for myself. Just in my opinion, something like that, just, mm. Perfect. So this has a very special meaning to me, not only because my husband thought about it, listened to me and went out and go purchase it and surprised me, but because of the fact that we were able to put it together as a family without doing with doing it in a very positive way. So awesome, awesome Mother's Day. <laughs> I hope all of y'all had a very good Mother's Day out there. For those that have lost your children, for those that have not been mothers yet or trying to be mothers, or that are fur babies and fur mommies and everything and anything in between. Even just fathers that are raising their children for any known reason, for any situation, happy late Mother's Day. And I hope y'all had a fantastic Mother's Day. So until the next video that I'm about to do, I will see y'all very shortly. Or me, I'll see you very shortly. For y'all, y'all will see me in maybe a couple of days after this. So I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye, you guys.